What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the Taiwan server and yes, the update has arrived on this server and we do have the new hero Frogger chilling right here. I have no idea what this thing does. I can't wait to get him in battle. As you can see, he's only level one. Haven't even tested him out yet. I was kind of nervous at first, honestly, because two videos ago I made a video saying like, hey, if anybody has him, send me a message and nobody messaged me. So I'm like, wait, what? Is this thing like impossible to roll? But then luckily with the video I just made today I had like 10 messages so if I didn't get back to you sorry I do not obviously need the new hero anymore this is good enough so first I'm gonna go ahead and open up the hero scroll him to level 10 and then bring up what he does exactly let's go ahead and take a quick look all right so we got new hero dr jump deal x percent normal damage to surrounding targets within x seconds that doesn't really make sense but it looks like the total damage is is 1200 i believe is what the percent is and the time looks like it's five seconds so we got summon a giant frog for x seconds and the only real yeah i mean we got a seven down there at the bottom but that's overall probably the cooldown. and then we got two fives so i'm guessing that's going to be five seconds so summon a frog for summon a giant frog for five seconds when giant frogs in battle hero will not take any damage like, no damage. That's pretty freaking crazy. That's kind of overpowered if you can use it in certain situations, depending on if the frog can take damage or not. I have a lot of questions with this hero. I don't know if the frog can take damage. I don't know if uh, he's invulnerable himself. Hero will not take damage, and it will increase attack by X percent for X seconds, which looks like it's 80% at 10 of 10, which is pretty beast. And the uh, cooldown, 7 seconds, as we can see right here. The hero is immune, immune to energy reduction. So, yeah, seems pretty good. I mean, especially in certain situations. Let's go ahead and bring this bad boy into battle. Actually, let's take a look at his evolution form first, and let's bring him into battle. All right, let's see. What's he look like being evolved? I haven't seen him. Ooh. So he turns in from green and a grandma. She turns into a grandma up there. All right, it's like she's got a couple of elixirs in her hand, too, like a potion and an elixir. I don't know what she's trying to do with all that. I guess uh, poison because frog causes poison. All right, so let's see. What can we go into? Should we go into dungeons? I guess so. We might as well. Um, should I move my camera? See, so yeah, I guess Frog's life doesn't even matter. All right, this is kind of a joke of a dungeon. So what do we got? I just want to see a proc. What's about to go down right here? All right, so we got poison, and it explodes poison everywhere. Now, I want to know if that other frog that lasts for five seconds actually takes damage. Because we do know that once that frog's out, our main hero takes zero damage. This guy looks pretty interesting, honestly. And one more thing I want to know is if he's auto-proc or not. So let's see if we can figure all that out right now. So let's see. His damage, when he procs, he only deals damage to whatever's in the green AoE, it looks like. And I still don't know if that uh, summon frog actually takes any damage or not. So it looks like we can... Nope, still couldn't tell right there either. Yeah, we need to either attack players. This guy's just not far enough in the dungeons. At least we're leveling the frog up a little bit, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack an actual player. Or are we too low in my... Oh, yeah, here we go. This is perfect. All right, let's go ahead and drop the frog right here. Let's see. Is he going to be auto-proc? Uh, it doesn't look like he's auto-proc to me, but I could be totally wrong. But from that battle right there, he didn't look all that, all that proc-y. Alright, so you can tell that he's invulnerable because the tower's not even dealing any damage to him at all whenever this frog's out. So yeah, no damage is going to be taken right now at all. Now let's see if this frog... Oh, did he get one shot right there or can he not be hit? I still have not been able to tell if that thing is invulnerable or not. Um, Alright, so we just lost our freaking frog. That's going to cost us 10 gems. Luckily we have a lot of gems though, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go back and battle because we still haven't figured out if this frog can take in damage yet or not um should we go up against i guess we'll go right up against this hero right here huh all right come on start attacking my little frog guy will ya oh we just murdered that hero with the proc not bad that this hero is one of ten as well obviously so the only real question i have at this point is if the frog can take damage it's pretty sweet that he is invulnerable I wonder if he's invulnerable to Flame Guard and other Reflex. I'm guessing it just means he can't take no damage no matter what the case is what I'm assuming. Which is pretty freaking beast. The frog, the additional frog seems pretty slow. Actually, both of them seem super slow. 
and it seems like it doesn't uh, deal that much damage as well compared well actually you know what maybe it does I was thinking it didn't but to be honest oh look at there okay so we now know it can't take damage the clone can't take damage as you can see from that druid proc right there that's pretty crazy all right so that makes this hero a lot better so he is completely invulnerable for five seconds and the additional frog cannot even uh take any damage either so that's pretty big i don't really think there's anything else i really want to do with this hero i can't you know what i mean for as far as we are right now we got pretty much what i wanted to figure out um besides the fact that he's auto prop but honestly i do not think he is auto prop because when we lay him down right here you know he would have procked like right now right before he actually threw in his last charge i'm not sure though i could you could just be yeah it's a tough call, but I don't think he's auto proc. I'm pretty sure he's not. I mean, if he was auto proc, it'd be a little overpowered, right? Because auto proc instantly into invulnerability and he can't take any damage, yet he can dish out tons of damage. That's pretty beast. It seems like a lot of heroes are now immune to fear, stun, energy, reflects, all that stuff now. Which I guess they need to be because a lot of heroes do dish that stuff out. You know what I mean? They came out with Gunslinger in a while back and everybody thought it was the end of Castle Clash. But yet, you know, Castle Clash can always just say, Oh wait, immune to energy reduction on the new heroes that come out. Oh, the Gunslinger's not as strong anymore. Huh, isn't that something? But we do need another new update besides this on Castle Clash. I'm looking for a big update coming soon because honestly, pay-to-play players don't even have anything to buy anymore. Haven't spent money in like over a month. I'm like, what? Give me something to spend on. <laughs> Sorry to all you free-to-play players that... Uh, wish that i didn't have any money to spend on rip but anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed the video pretty sweet hero i think i mean gonna be a situational hero i don't think he's gonna be honestly a must-have hero for any situation but we will definitely see and it also depends on how much additional damage that extra frog actually does i couldn't really get a good idea but i think it might honestly it seemed like this is level one, so it's really hard to judge, but this uh, the additional frog was honestly hitting for the same amount of damage as he is. I mean, look right here. All right, I guess he needs something to uh, to be able to hit. So we got 411 and 338, I believe, was the damage from that additional frog. I don't know. Let's see if we can tell on this building right here. So we got, yeah, 362. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to just tell whenever the uh, update actually comes out. We can double evolve this bad boy. I'll definitely have another video of that double evolve. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.